Okay, as I say, an important one at the end. If you have a mind to think, to get along, to get away from the hustle and bustle and all this, that, and other, and just think about what this old boy's telling you, okay? I look at my youngins, my, my youngest youngins, and I, and I look at them, and, and you know, I've worked hard all my life, and, and, I, and I always want a future for them, but, but, you know, I look at them, and then I think, I, just for instance, take this, for example, okay? When I was paying $4.50 a gallon for diesel, okay, and you were paying 3 something for gas, okay, the demand was not high enough to justify the price. The price of diesel should have been about two something, and I'm giving them fifty cent to play with. Okay, so me paying, say it, say it should have been about two dollars, and th I'm telling you, just logical intellect will bring this to pass. Okay, but it was four fifty. Okay, the demand and supply, everything was slowing down, construction, all that, everything was slowing down. Even the Olympics, they had too much fuel. Go back and research it. China had too much fuel stocked up; they didn't need it. And, 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 but all the all the pundits on TV were telling you supply and demand issue, supply and demand issue. The supplies are short. The demand is high. When it actually wasn't. Okay. So let me really get to the friggin' point real quick and just make it plain. Because I, I, I never have beat around the bush and I ain't going to. If diesel should have been at two and I had to pay four fifty, every gallon I pump is two dollars and fifty cents you stole out of my pocket. I want you to understand that and you know who I'm talking to. You see. And that's just one example of many, 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 many. If you think about it, and you think about the word tax, and you think about the word hyperinflation, and you think about this, and you think about martial law, if the bailout don't go, and then who it went to, you, look, I don't care if you're Democrat, Republican, or liberal, or whatever you are, I don't care if you're an atheist, and, and or I don't care if you believe in God in this video I'm talking about, I mean, I do care, but what I'm saying is this, regardless of what your background, ethnic, or whatever you are, religious, or whatever, if you think about what I'm telling you, we have been ripped off from the bottom to the top. We have been ripped off. As I made a video about the Ponzi scheme, made off and all their bitching and raising cane about that, 50 billion, why don't you look and see how much money's been put out in three months and, and, and computer digits that, that really ain't for real that has been given to the elite of, this, of, of America and to the Saudis and everybody else, okay? And think about what I'm saying because I got news for you. This situation has went too far for it to heal itself and come back on its own, okay? And you take that with a grain of salt or you put that in your pipe and smoke it and you figure out the rest of what I'm saying. Let me get back to the bill. Okay. I'm happy after months to finally move forward, Reed said. The bill's chief opponent, Tom Coburn, Republican Oklahoma, denounced what he called democratic bully tactic. I'm disappointed the Senate Majority Leader refused to allow Senators the opportunity to improve, I mean, eliminate some of the questionable provisions of the of the ominous, ominous, ominous bill. Uh, uh, when the American people asked Congress to set a new tone, I don't believe refusing to listen to the concerns of others was what they had in mind. Okay? The American people expect us to hold open, civil, thorough debates on costly legislation, not ram through 1,300 pages of bills if you're watching. Let me explain real clear one more time for you idiots that say that I've not said nothing against Bush and this, that, and other, and I'm only against Obama. I'm not for the Democrats and I'm not for the Republicans. Let me get that real, real, real clear for you stupid idiots that gotta send me an email and say, well, why don't you say this about Bush? You say that about Obama. I have said it over and over again, but some people out there, I won't call no names, are too flippin' stupid and don't have enough intellect to let it digest in their mind what another person's saying. So, now that we've got that out of the way, let's finish this article up. Uh, environmental group said the bill is setting the right tone for the new Congress, okay? Tree huggers, in other words. All right, by voting to protect mountains, pristine wildlands, Congress is starting out on the right foot, said Christy Goldfuss of Environment America, an advocacy group. advocacy group. This Congress is serious about protecting the environment and the outstanding lands that Americans treasure. Okay. Which is just propaganda because uh, the majority of people 
have enough intellect not to go out and destroy a forest they want to go in that belongs to the Americans and not the government that the government stole and took over. And by the way, they probably, this is just something I'll throw out there, they probably had to deem all those areas as protection areas because they probably in the sovereign wealth deal, they probably owe it to the Saudis and the Saudis own the note on it and the Chinese own the note on it. And they said, we're not going to continue to back this worthless devilish currency of yours unless you uh, set aside more land that we can have the note on, saith the commies, Chinese, and the Saudis. See, that's my opinion of what took place, but that's just an opinion there. And I say it's an opinion, but like I said, sit back and have intellect and read between the lines and a lot of stuff you can figure out. But on this deal of the secrecy of government, just remember this. Just remember this. That the very money that they they used to destroy you with comes from you. Remember what I told you. The very money they used to destroy you and spy on you comes from you. And I'm just curious as to how much longer you're going to put up with it. Now, I've made a hundred and something videos, okay? I've tried the best of my ability, and I know I've failed in many areas to you guys, and I apologize for that, but I, to the best of my ability to get it out in the 10-minute time frame on each video, in my heart I feel that's what I've done, and I feel that I've done uh, right, okay? I want you to understand that. I believe that I've done right. Am I a perfect person? No. I've already said that and explained to you that I mess up daily. But I believe that the calling that, that uh, I was called to to warn the American people, you know, that, that, uh, that what's coming, I believe it from studying and research, not from just what I've heard or not from trusting my own uh, thoughts and, 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 and uh, 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 fears and non-fears. Let me put it like that. And I don't live in fear, so don't send me something on that neither. Uh, I know... Uh, uh, that a uh, perfect love casts out all fear, and I understand all that. So don't send it to me. Don't waste, don't waste your time and your fingers on it. But to get to the last point about this, before I close this one out and start another one, the secrecy of the government is uh, something that our forefathers would have never allowed. They would have already risen up. They were already took this nation back before it got to the point of the amount of bloodshed that's going to have to that's going to have to uh, uh, fertilize the tree of liberty. And you mark my words. You mark this boy's words. It's coming. Okay, it's coming. I would suggest that you uh, make sure your firearms are cleaned up, greased up, and make sure you got all the ammo you need. Make sure you got the food supplies and the medical stuff, and everything that you need that you can think of according to your situation. I would suggest one more time. I'm making a plea to you to get it. Okay. Now, again, if you don't get it and you sit there and you call me a dumb redneck, there's no point in knocking on my door. It ain't gonna happen. It is not gonna happen. So, having said that, if you are preparing, you are trying, I'll feed you till we all run out. I'm gonna end this video, but this just shows another secrecy of the government. They hold a session on Sunday, they pass this, and there's so much attachments to it, I could spend the rest of this day telling you about them. You look it up yourself. Uh, Senate 22, the Wilderness uh, Protection Bill, uh, and you'll see what they've done, and, and it, it you know, it's just another, it's just another example of their incompetency and, and that they cannot be trusted in any way, shape, form, or fashion. So uh, I'll end this one and we'll start another one. I'll be back.